Oh, it is detached. Okay. Oh, wow. It is just, it's absolutely superb. Okay, I'm just gonna eat that all in one bite. Good morning, everyone. It's Mark Weens with Migrationology.com in Hong Kong. This is our last day of the trip, our final day in Hong Kong. This evening, we fly back to Bangkok, back home. And so today, this morning, I thought it would be a fantastic idea to take a little trip to the Aberdeen Fish Market, which is on the opposite side of Hong Kong Island from the city and go there to eat seafood. I just could not resist the opportunity to go on one more food adventure on this round the world trip for food. The bus station should be just up ahead now. Thank you. This is bus 69X. I think it's an express bus and it's more like a, it's more of a mini bus and we should be at the Aberdeen Fish Market very soon. Hello, are you? What was that? Albert Air. Thank you. That literally only took exactly seven minutes to get here. And just like that, we drove under a tunnel under the mountain and we are on the opposite side of Hong Kong Island. Aberdeen Fish Market is one of the main fish markets in Hong Kong. This is where a lot of the seafood comes in and a lot of the seafood here uh, then is distributed around Hong Kong but I'm glad to be here. We're gonna try to go to the canteen, the restaurant first, before it gets too busy. We're here pretty early right now. And then after that, hopefully walk around the fish market a little bit. Navigating our way through the rows of trucks. These are all ice or, or fridge trucks that are distributing seafood around Hong Kong. We walked around the fish market for a little bit, a little bit confused. It's really wet and they're just carting around just tanks full of fresh seafood and fish and lobsters and crabs and lots of shrimp. And I was a little bit confused. I'm not sure which one is the actual restaurant. I'm not sure if there's more than one restaurant or if there's only one restaurant, but we stepped in here. They said this one is the canteen and this is a seafood restaurant, which is literally right in the middle. It's an indoor restaurant, but it's right in the middle of the fish market. Just outside there are lots of fish tanks and there's an aquarium of seafood and we're right next to the ocean. The boats are docking right out there. They do have just a limited English menu, but this set, it looks almost exactly like what I wanted to eat anyways. So for two 598 Hong Kong dollars includes steamed fish, scallops, abalone, um, crab, oh, seasonal vegetables. Actually, this might be perfect. I think we might just go for set this set right here. The first dish that has come out is the salt and pepper fried abalone. Oh, I'm so excited to eat this. And you can see that, that beautiful shell, abalone shell, and then they have taken it out and maybe it's lightly battered and then deep fried it. As tempted as I am to eat the entire thing in one bite, I think it would be best since there are only, <laughs> since I'm only having one of them, to eat half of it and then we can see what's inside. It's very similar to a scallop. It's like meaty and a little bit chewy. You can really taste the black pepper on it too. I'm not really sure what are all those little crispy bits, but maybe it's like caramelized, really, really crispy garlic. I'm not totally sure, but this is a, a lovely fresh abalone. Oh, abalone. You are wonderful. 
Thank you. I think most of the main dishes have just arrived. This food looks spectacular. The two main dishes are a steamed fish and a fried crab, both of which smell and look incredible. I'm gonna begin with the fish, and I'm not, I'm not totally sure what type of fish it was. At first, I thought, take a look at the eye. At first, at first, I thought it was a grouper, but now it looks kind of, it looks kind of like a circular fish, and a grouper is more of a. But the skin looks kind of like a grouper, unless it's butterfly cut, I don't think so. And one more dish arrived as I was about to take a bite of the fish. I had forgotten about the scallops. How could I forget about the scallops? Okay, back to my bite of fish, and I'm gonna reach in for this piece here. Look at all those shredded green onions in here, and I love that soy sauce steamed sauce. It looks incredible with that swirl of oil, fish oils. Okay. Wow. Oh, that fish just melts in your mouth. Oh, it's like silky smooth and just dissolves. Oh, this fish is so good. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a little bit more of it to experience more and get some of that, that juice and put it onto my rice. Set this right on top of my mountain, my, my cup shape of rice, which I haven't even started yet. Steamed fish is one of my absolute favorite ways to eat fish. And fish happens to be one of my favorite foods. And that is incredibly fresh. It is an incredibly good fish. And I love how they have prepared it. Not too salty, but just really focusing on the freshness of that fish. I'm gonna follow that with a bite of, I think this is bok choy, and there are mushrooms in here. There are pieces of ginger and also garlic. Mm. Mm, really nice with the ginger. I'm gonna take a piece of the ginger and then also a, a clove of garlic which has been fried and withered. Oh yeah. Oh, ginger. Ginger is a wonderful thing. Since the scallops have just arrived fresh from the kitchen, I'm gonna take this opportunity to eat it immediately. And it's topped with mung bean noodles. I'm guessing that's garlic. There are green onions on here and I'm not sure exactly how the, the scallop is. Oh, I think it's still attached. It's down there below. So maybe maybe I will pick it up and like slurp the noodles first and then eat the scallop. And I wanna make sure to get lots of garlic. Oh yes. It's a really strong garlic flavor. But at the same time, it's not like a burning garlic flavor. And again, it's not too salty but just so delicately flavorful. Okay, and here's the scallop. Oh, it is detached. Okay. Oh, wow, it is just, it's absolutely superb. Okay, I'm just gonna eat that all in one bite. Oh, that is sensational. Oh, that scallop is so tender. And it, it's so sweet. Okay, I need to drink the rest of this. That scallop was ridiculous. I love how it's prepared. Um, very similar tasting to the fish, actually. But just the, the beauty of that scallop, the freshness, the sweetness of it, and it was so tender. That brings us to the final dish, which is the crab which has been, I think it's been stir-fried with lots of ginger and green onions, and this is the, the top shell here. There are some claws below here. Maybe I'll just begin with this guy right here. And yeah, I'm just going right into this crab drumstick. Oh, again, I can taste the ginger, like, embedded into that crab meat. Oh, and it's like flaky crab. It's naturally sweet again. Oh, and there's some roe there too. Okay, I better slurp that up. Let me try to break this guy in half to reveal the rest of that crab. Maybe reach in with my chopsticks here. Look at that. <laughs> Look at the stringiness of that crab. That crab is so sweet and so stringy. Oh, it's wonderful. 
Okay, let me take some more of this fish. This fish is just insanely good. And I'm still not sure what type of fish it is. Could it be a flounder? Possibly. Add a bit more. And. That was a memorable seafood meal. Every dish was so good, and I have now come to my final trophy possession of the meal, the last crab claw. And this is gonna be, yeah, everything is gone. It is a sad but joyful moment. And also this meal, it was just the absolute like perfect amount for Ying and I. Let's see. If, let me see if I can peel this in a pretty in a pretty manner. Ying, I might need your help. Look at that last just beauty. <laughs> Stunning. Mm. This crab is so sweet. All right. Oh, we still have dessert, I think, on that set menu. I, I actually completely forgot about it. I was so engulfed within that seafood. I'm not a desserts guy, but since this dessert was included in our set meal, we got it. And wow, it's a it's quite a structure. This is some kind of toast, but they are in cubes, and then it's drizzled. Maybe they're like deep fried. It looks like coated in a, some kind of a maybe an egg batter or something, and then fried. And then there are just literally like little cubes of butter, which are just slowly melting and swirling within the the condensed milk. And wow, this is. I'm gonna go for this piece right down here on the bottom, or yeah. Oh, it almost looks like cubes of tofu. <laughs> I think it's, I'm pretty sure it's bread though. And let me take this piece. Oh wow, and there's even like butter on the inside here. Oh, it's just like dripping as I, I better eat it right now. Wow. That is, okay, that's, that is pretty good. It's French toast, I think. It's pieces of bread, or cubes of bread that have been dunked or soaked in egg and then fried. I think the sweetness is mostly just coming from that condensed milk, but it is just like oozing with butter. That is for sure. And there might even be some peanut butter in here. I'm getting like a little bit of a, a nuttiness. I like that better than I thought I was gonna like it. Following that with hot Chinese tea, that's good. Yeah, if you like French toast, I think this might be the ultimate French toast. It is, it is actually incredibly good and so buttery. Ying and I just finished with that seafood meal. What I really loved so much is that the, they cooked things just perfectly, not everything, nothing was too salty and it really, really focused and highlighted on the freshness of that seafood. The steamed fish in particular was probably my favorite, but actually everything was good, including the scallop and that crab. Coming out here to the Aberdeen Fish Market was well worth it for that seafood meal. And if you love seafood, it's just a great place to visit in Hong Kong. And that's actually gonna be our final meal in Hong Kong. We are gonna take the bus back to our hotel, pack up, and it's about time to go to the airport this afternoon.
we ran to buy our tickets and it cost 170 Hong Kong dollars for two of us and then got immediately on the train. I think the train should leave in a couple minutes and we are on our way to the airport. about 25 minutes on the train we made it to the airport and we are flying out of Terminal 2. Terminal 2 in Hong Kong is amazing it's huge and we just got all checked in we are flying with Thai Airways back home to Bangkok. It's been a total of 39 days since Ying and I set off from Bangkok on this round the world trip for food with Star Alliance. Now you know how fast my hair grows. If you go back to day one, you'll see how short my hair was. Uh, but anyway, I don't know if I have ever done so much and traveled so much and eaten so much in a span of 39 days as I did on this trip. This is our final flight, our final business class flight on this trip, and it happens to be on our hometown airline. Welcome, Champagne. What is that? Anchan Manao. Oh, uh, butterfly pea and lim lime juice, butterfly pea juice. Yeah, it is really good. That's like a uh, tastes like limeade. Okay, bye. We took off about 15 minutes ago, and this is going to be a two-hour and 20-minute flight, and it is time for dinner now. This is the first course, which is salmon and some kind of salad on the side here. I have had a lot of salmon on this trip, and I don't mind eating it every opportunity that I have. Oh yes, that is the fork tender salmon. Oh, with some capers on the side there. Mm. Really, really smoky. And I think that's dill on top. For the main course, they had a couple of different options, but I chose the only thing, which is the real Thai dish on the menu. And that is Pad Ga Pao, which is I think this time it's minced chicken, uh, stir-fried with holy basil with rice, and then also came with a classic Thai deep-fried egg on the side. Let me first crack into that egg. Oh, you gotta love the crispy edges on the egg. So crispy that you gotta really work at it to, to break it off. Oh, look at the crispiness of that egg with rice. Grab some of the pad ga pao. Oh, oh, basil. All right. Oh. How I've missed Thai style deep fried eggs. It's a little bit on the sweet side, um, and then just pieces, little pieces of chicken with chilies in there and also the holy basil. And that concludes this brief dinner on this Thai Airways flight. Feels good to be home, but that was honestly a food trip of a lifetime. I don't know in a span of 39 days if I have ever eaten such a diverse spectrum of cuisine in my life. We just made it back home. Ying is about to see 
You're back, sheep. What's going on? Oh, you can go. Oh, you can go. Yeah. Gets fatter every time we see him. Before I wrap up today's video and then wrap up this entire series, a couple of things. Number one, I wanted to thank each and every one of you for watching this entire series. And also many of you contributed in um, giving me restaurant recommendations in each of the, the destinations that we visited. So I wanna say a big thank you to you. And also thank you to Marriott for sponsoring uh, much of the accommodation that Ying and I stayed at throughout this trip. And finally, a major thank you to Star Alliance who made this entire trip possible. And it was a real honor to be invited and to have this opportunity to take part in a round the world trip with Star Alliance. And then lastly, um, this video, and if you haven't seen the entire video series from this round the world trip for food, I have included all of them in a playlist, all in consecutive order. Again, the link is in the description box below, so you can watch through the entire series of these, of these videos. Um, and I think that is a complete wrap on this video series. It has been so much fun. I have learned so much. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you on the next video. Good night from Bangkok. Bye.